Hello, Weston and Loblaws are gaslighting Canadians by saying that they're not making huge markups on grocery products, but I'm going to show you why they're wrong. This is a bottle of mayonnaise. Yes, it's made with olive oil. Yes, I bought it because I'm Italian, you racist. That bottle of mayonnaise, not on sale, is $8. I bought it on sale for $4. And Galen Weston is telling us that Loblaws is barely making a profit off of grocery products. And that they've had to increase prices because of inflation. But a bottle like this, pre-pandemic, was less than $4. Not only that, but it would be physically impossible from a financial standpoint to say that you are barely making a markup on a product when you sell it for $8 and then put it on sale for 50% off for no no reason. It's not going bad, it's not expiring soon, and they sell a lot of it. And so somehow they can still sell it for $4 a bottle and make a profit. Which means that when they sell it normally, they're making a over 100% markup profit. I know what you're thinking. Don't shop at Fortino's. Don't shop at Loblaws. I live in one of the largest cities in Canada, and I still have a food desert around me. The only value-based chain within 15 minutes of my house is Walmart. So it's either Walmart, Fortino's, Farm Boy, or Longo's. You might be saying, shop at an independent grocer. The closest one is a half an hour away. And once again, I live on a major highway in one of the largest cities in our country. We don't have any choice but to shop at these major chains. And they know that, which is why they price gouge us so badly. Also, I don't even like mayonnaise. This is for my wife. I don't want people accusing my palate of being too white. I like hot sauce, okay? I like heavily spiced things. Where am I going with this? Yeah, Galen Weston sucks. He's ripping you off, he is ripping Canadians off, and he is lying to Parliament.